Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Well, the sky's clear for us in Dublin right now. You see there's a gentle breeze going on. That's all we've got to worry about currently. 82 degrees with a heat index of 83. We do have a 7 mile per hour wind coming in from the west northwest. So I mentioned that we're seeing a few clouds make their way into the northwestern part of the state. Not too concerned about these clouds to the south. The reason I'm pointing these ones to the north out is because we've actually got a bit of a cold front on its way in as we head into the afternoon hours. Not expecting anything major out of it, but it's going to delay us getting into the mid to upper 90s. I guess we can uh, count on that. Be happy about that for later on today. So here comes this cold front. It is going to bring a couple of opportunities for storms as we go into the late afternoon and evening hours, maybe even the early overnight hours tonight, but it's not going to last long. High pressure is going to be settling in behind it. Tomorrow it's still going to be hot. Don't get me wrong. Just not as hot as the rest of the week is going to be. The rest of the week is going to be an absolute scorcher. Today's highs, we are mainly seeing low 90s around the region. You got Warner Robins and Eastman, both at 90 degrees, 89 in Butler and Perry. A couple of our cooler spots for Scythe at 87 is the overall cool spot. We'll hit 91 in Macon. There is a chance for, at least the Storm Prediction Center is calling for, a chance for a bit of severe weather today. Level 1 threat. I personally don't think we're going to be seeing anything that's, quote, severe. Uh, we might see a couple uh, strong wind gusts and maybe some small hail, but the tornado threat and the flash flood threat definitely are not there for later today. Let's check that out here with our uh, future track. We're going to be seeing, of course, plenty of heat. You do see cloud fills develop in the afternoon. That's going to be expected every time it gets hot outside, but take note. 430. I think by this point we could see an isolated storm in the area. This model not seeing it. We head into the later hours of the evening. Okay, there's a little bit of storm activity, but you saw they're very isolated and there's not a lot of them. There's not really the dynamics at play to cause the tornado threat to be there. So don't need to go changing any of your plans. Things are good to go later on today. It's just going to be hot. In fact, you probably want to see the rain. It helps to cool things off. Hang into tomorrow morning. We'll wake up to upper 50s and lower 60s around the region. And then tomorrow afternoon, this heat indices are going to be in the upper 80s, but highs are going to likely be in the upper 80s as well. We may get lucky and see uh, even some mid 80s out there. Let's go ahead and check out your seven day forecast in just 10 seconds. Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. Tomorrow's high for making 89 degrees. Again, most of us should be in the upper 80s tomorrow. But uh, I mentioned how the cold front is delaying major heat. I mean, look at Thursday, the high for making 97. So some spots like McRae, Dublin might be not not 100 degrees. Uh, then we roll into the weekend and we might get a bit of a cooling trend to take back over.